yeah guys um back with the second part of the video sorry about the bad um lighting quality um had to adjust my backgrounds but um yeah see if i could pick up on something new i don't want to look at something I already looked at i can't stand it when people do that i believe that auction had no picture Come on, give me something good. Not this crap. Let's look at this McGain. I don't know if I looked at it on the last video. So there is some lag going on. Some that bar being in the way. That, please ex ignore that. But okay, um. Yep, strong front. Let's look at this. Uh, okay, that's. I don't know what's going on right there, but um, okay. Um, it's questionable with the spots right there, but that's that may be on the case because I may be mistaken. But that that car is definitely a ten. Also, that's by a popular seller. Been around for quite some time. Got a lot of good stuff. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Check out the Tyranitar from Neo Discovery. First edition. I don't want the other one in my collection, but this one wouldn't mind looking at myself. Got a great front. Uh, let's see. It was kind of a glitter on the shot, but um, it's a completely mint car. That one looks really great for someone's collection. Um, let's see. Did I look at this magnet time before? Okay, what the hell? I can't bring it up. See if I can look at the back. Nope. This guy has a strange camera, but let me see. It's definitely something right there on the back. It could be the case, but if that's a mark, um, it's not good. Whatever PSA says is a 10, so let's go on to the next one. Jeez, I wish I could pull up that um uh, that extra shitty 9.5 BGS card I saw. That was a first edition um uh, base hollow, but it's probably long and gone. I've seen a lot of um duplicates from what I've previously seen. But this one's definitely um one of the more harder cards to get. Um this is such a pain in the ass. You look there, you can see it's like chipping right there on the top. Okay, now, um, PSA used to allow me five years ago, silvering around the, um, silvering around the top on the other card and the edges. And, um, it would still get tense, but they've, um, dialed it up a notch and got stricter. And now they're like, um, you know, basically thumbing them down, getting them nines and stuff. But that's definitely, um, that would be a count as a strike. Jeez, I wish they had the back of the car on here at the front like that. But, um, it's some more down there. Um, so it doesn't, it, it, this, this says no having silvering though. But, um, that looked like they would deem that as excessive. So the back of the car has to be flawless for it to be a 10. I'm just assuming that it is. Um, here comes Team Rocket. That's useless. <laughs> um, check out this Gengar. All right. Um, 
see some strange right there it may be on the card but then again it's hard to tell whether it's the case or not What is all of that right there? I believe that's the back of the card. That's that is the back of the card. If some of that is the case. That one's kind of so so. I don't know. Iffy about that. Um, look at a couple other ones. I don't know, Team Rocket cars and Northfield and Tins. I'll, I'll really have to look at that one. Let's look at this pincer. Also, um, don't come up too often. Okay, now what What the heck? Oh, that must be the artwork or something. Cause that looks choppy as hell to me. Okay, um... All right. Don't know about the front, but um, let's see. One minor imperfection that doesn't count. Usually they'll let that slide. That's cool. The front looks kind of, I don't know ish. It's called out. Uh, um. Yeah, there we go. I want to see, because this is another pain in the ass car to get. Because of the white um, background. It's, Jesus. Arrow is bogus. Alright. It's a little little silver, silver ring on the top left. The foil is virtuously flawless. Which is a plus. And then you have no back. So I'm gonna have to avoid uh, cows that don't put the back. Let me see if I could uh, pull up this old listing. It's pro probably not there anymore. But let me see. It's probably not gonna bring it up right. This video was long as hell. Sign Charizard. Don't know why people love these sign cards for it, but this is Japanese. Okay, um, no. <laughs> um, all right. Blaine's Charizard first edition. Right, the front definitely checks out. It has a strong front. Looks like I see the back of these. Please give me a back. Stop being an asshole. Okay, thank you. He has backs on his card. It's definitely like um I see maybe one minor scratch on the top right there. If that even counts. I don't know if that's um the encasement itself. But the back definitely does not look like a brand new and crisp. It's actually like got some dust marks right there. What the, what the fuck is that? Like dust on the case then we go down it's like um yeah it's like it's dusty on the back of this card because it can't be the whole case looking like that even if it was like the i see some um i see some line scratches going down the Pokeball has lost some of its gloss. It's like a mediocre 9.5. But anyway, um, 
that was uh, just a little another zoom in on some things I've seen. I'm gonna um, try to see if I can pull up something better later on. But yeah, um, yeah.